Pinocchio, to Dracula, to Darth Vader, to a garbage man, an astronaut. I basically jump straight from that toy to make movies. What sets me apart, I guess, is that I let the story emerge through form and tone rather than traditional plot. Whether I'm directing or editing or writing or shooting, you know, I really just try paring things down to what's necessary and the esse what's essential. It doesn't have to be pretty. I think, you know, a decaying animal is one of the most beautiful things that could be found and that have, you know, the fingerprints of an entire lifetime on them. I love tactile uh, sense of filmmaking, what it means to get your hands dirty doing it. Seeing things for the first time again and being excited by things that you maybe have forgotten that you should be excited about. In the filmmaking process and, you know, making your days or getting on schedule or, oh no, the light's leaving, but maybe while that light's leaving you can, like, all of a sudden just turn the cameras on and capture something that's, you know, really beautiful and unexpected. Finding, you know, the patience to just be able to see that as opposed to, you know, just pushing on to the next thing. Like, taking a moment to step back and, and just really see the, all the magic and wonder that's all around you all the time. I find that a lot of independent film has a very current feel to it, which I think in turn will make it feel very dated a few years from now. Even if I'm using modern technology, I want my work to feel like it could have been made 10 or 20 or 30 years ago or 30 years from now for that matter. You can take a couple fighting in a scene in an apartment and it's just a mundane scene, but if you set that outdoors or in, a, in a, a place that has some texture or history to it, it all of a sudden becomes about something more. Saint Nick is about a brother and sister who have run away from home for reasons unknown and try to make you know, a life for themselves free of any you know, adult supervision. The film just follows them as they try to survive out in the wild and in an abandoned house and you know, with like very mundane things that on the surface you know, maybe feel like, oh, this is sort of boring, but if you think about it from a kid's perspective, this is like the most exciting thing in the world. They're trying to get something out that they don't understand. And as adults, you know, we learn how to deal with these emotions, but they're still the same emotions that you felt as a child. I would define my craft as a merging of all the art forms, uh, sort of alchemy, taking all these disparate elements and creating something new and rather magical out of them. Making a film is sort of like choosing the right words to tell a story, and I use images and I use sounds, and I'm just finding the right elements to tell that story.